What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We're back to talk more about this baby right here, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. It is back. We have a lot of thoughts on it after using it for a couple days. And I gotta tell you right off the bat, it is underrated how great this rotating bezel is. Wear OS 4 on here is amazing. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but having Google Assistant built in and a couple of details that I wanna go over in this video uh, really just magnify this iteration of this device from Samsung to actually what it is today from even last generations, uh, let's just say Watch 5 Pro that it's replacing uh, and even just a Watch 6 series in general. Let's jump into it, let's talk about it. Let's take a better look at it and see what we think. Let's go. So first things first, jumping right back into the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I can't stress enough just how much I miss this rotating bezel. And you can see just how smooth everything does cycle through as needed for all of the notifications or any of your little compilations you might have set up. It really does make it so much easier than some of the recent past generations where you had to kind of use your fingerprints and muck up the screen. You don't have to worry about wiping those marks off of the display. Also, I will say by no means is Wear OS 4 completely smooth, but the amount of like jitters and jolt from the screen not being responsive is much more minimal than I've seen in years past. Jumping into settings, obviously going into about watch, you can see here that sure enough under software information, we're running one UI five. And uh, this obviously sits on top of Android 13, but more importantly, where OS four, just like we heard was coming. So what's interesting is obviously this is the first Wear OS 4.0 device. The Pixel Watch is still running 3.5. So it will be very, very interesting to see what comes feature-wise to the actual uh, Pixel Watch based off of Wear OS 4. Also, I do have to just tell you, since I know a lot of people were wondering as well, if you actually go into general and you can even look at text-to-speech and all that, you can see right there, speech services by Google. It is right there for you to use as well. Or even if you're wondering from Jump Street, if you jump into your apps, you can see you do have Google Assistant built in and it is pretty quick. Let me cancel this really quick. How tall is LeBron James? So you can see it works pretty well. It's not pixel level quick, but considering this is a Samsung device still running a skin on top of Wear OS 4, um, I think that's very, very good um, as far as a response time. Aside from that, like I said, everything's been pretty smooth. We can jump through the software if you want. There's not too, too much other to see here. Everything just looks a little more uh, seamless and streamlined, I guess you can say. I've never been a fan of how all of these icons look, how it was meant to mimic the Apple Watch um, when they used icons like this, uh, but it's here. I'm, again, not sold on it, but doesn't take away from the experience. All of your little compilations work well. Samsung Health works well. I don't know a lot of people that use their watches for sleep tracking, but obviously that is all still built in here as well. But body composition has gotten a lot of new features for health and all that, it is all still here. But yeah, we went over the watch faces in our initial video. If you guys missed that, I do like some of these new pre-built watch faces. This is one of the main ones they're selling for the actual uh, Galaxy Watch 6 itself. Nice little animations, very smooth. Whenever you tuck it down and reopen the watch face, you can see it actually gets a nice little smooth animation each time. Um, and then obviously the one you saw earlier, this watch face right here, uh, is the one they're selling for the classic as their, basically their quote unquote, halo watch face. So yeah, so far so good. Again, not a long enough time to do a full review that's still coming. But if you were wondering how it was working and all that, I do have to say it is working very well. I do want to make this call out though, uh, specifically in regards to battery life, because it always comes during your first week or so, you can see it says learning your usage pattern. So getting a true gauge on what battery life will be does take some time. Obviously it's updating everything. It's going into uh, learning your usage patterns. Like it says, what apps do you use, when to put them to sleep or what not to. So we can't give a good battery life uh, re basically review yet. 
So stay tuned for that one. But I can tell you, this is not anywhere worse than the Watch 5 Pro was, which had that massive battery as well. So I do have high hopes for the battery on this watch. Again, I think you might, might, might get a day and a half of usage, but keep in mind, you're not going to obtain a, you know, two plus day battery life like you can't with any smartwatch, including the Apple Watch Ultra, which I think is the best benchmark right now for battery life on a smartwatch. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned to the channel. We're going to have a lot more comments and content on it. I still think this baby looks great. This will be my daily driver now with my Pixel Fold watch. So yeah, let us know what you want to see in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video. Go follow us over on Twitter. We'll have a whole bunch of new content getting posted there as well. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.